So you're done with your poster, but you feel like something is still missing. You want to you want to do some more with it. That's when editing comes in. I usually edit my posters in Paint.net because I've used it for so long and I think it's actually a really good program, even though it's free. But uh, one drawback is, uh, well, with any editing program really, it's hard to get a good result uh, uh, when you're a beginner. I'd still recommend using Paint.net, GIMP, Photoshop or any other programs, but if you're not interested in learning to edit or just want a result right away, then this video might be something for you, I guess. Uh, so what we're gonna use instead is a program called PixelR. Well, it's not even a program, I'm, I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna go to Google and search for PixelR, and uh, here it is, PixelR.com. It's just on their website, it's not a program you download, it's just online, so that means you can't use it when you don't have internet, but it's... It's very easy to use, at least. Uh, what we're gonna use is Pixlr E, Advanced Photo Editor. Shut up. I wouldn't say it's advanced, it's very simple, actually. So, what we're gonna do... Well, as it says in the middle, open image. Then you can choose the size. Uh, my, my poster is in 4K, so I'm gonna go with Ultra HD. You can't see it because I've cropped it out, but uh, there's an add to the, to the right. Uh, well, anyway, the layout is very similar to Photoshop. It might look quite intimidating, but don't worry, it's uh, it's actually very easy to use. The only thing we need to do is go here, adjustments. On adjustments and filter, these two categories are pretty much the only ones you're probably gonna use. So what we're gonna do first is tweak the brightness and contrast. Let's say your poster felt kind of flat or maybe too dark. So then you might want to increase the brightness and maybe the contrast as well. There you go. And here's the history in the bottom right corner. Here we opened the project and here we did the brightness and contrast. So you can go back in the, in the history to undo stuff. We also have hue and saturation if you want to make it a YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god. You can basically just go, go through these and uh, see what you think is good. But I'm gonna show you a few ones that I think is I think works quite well. Effect library. Here you get a ton of presets uh, uh, you can play around with. So if we go to... Uh, friends. So here you have tons of different uh, presets you can choose from and let's say I want to go with uh, Bob and then I can also increase or decrease the intensity. Josh. So this makes uh, the shadows very blue. So basically find one you think looks quite good and uh, tweak it. So, so maybe uh, urban style. This one, this one looks kind of cool. I think these look quite good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one style and apply. I don't know if I need to do much more. This looks already quite good. Maybe I can do a tiny bit of fringe and fringe is, well, as you can see, <laughs> just a tiny, tiny bit and maybe a little bit of green. And also, uh, let's try bloom. Hmm. Actually, not too sure. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Now we have a quite decent result, in my opinion. If we go back, this was the original. It doesn't look bad, but it looks kind of bland and boring. You know, it's it's just SFM. But if we add all the effects we did, now it looks way more interesting. It look it gives it a whole different vibe, and uh, you can make it more your style, I guess you could say, instead of having that classic SFM look. I guess that's it. So if we want to save this, uh, go to File and uh, Export and then export it as a PNG, and then save it somewhere. I hope this was useful for somebody, and uh, for myself, I'm still gonna use Paint.net, I mean, come on. In Paint.net, you can basically do whatever you want. So that's all I have to say in this video. I hope I helped somebody, and uh, the link to Pixelr and Paint.net is in the description. That's it for the video, so thanks so much for watching, and bye!